We knew we wanted someone very interesting and very different. I believe Aaron suggested Ricardo, who was a personal friend of his. And when we started to think about Ricardo and started to think about maybe the white suit, it was different enough, and yet he had the stature and the gravitas so that it wasn't some idiot standing there. It was someone who had some power. And then um, we wanted to cast Tattoo. We had seen Hervé in a James Bond movie. And we sent him the script. And when the driver came back, he said, this is very touching, Mr. Goldberg. I, I drove to this address in Hollywood, a terrible address with people who were lying on the street. And he lived in a rooming house. And I, I brought him the script, and he started to cry. He said, this is a, they want me to play a part. He was so touched by it. And dissolved to a few years later. The show was a big hit. Hervé was making a lot of money, and he came in and demanded a whole lot more money. And he said, Mr. Ricardo Montalban makes so much money, and I only make this little money. And who did they tune in to see? They tune in to see the plane, the plane. That's who they tune in to see. And I thought back, God, it didn't take long to move from that rooming house, did it? But that's an oft-repeated story, not of, only of our shows, but of many, many shows on television. But he was quite a character, but quite a character. Yeah, I mean, there were several happy years of him doing the show, and uh, his, he, he had a great appetite, can we say, for women, tall women. Well, Hervé, to begin with, if you go out to a club around town of those days, you'd run into Hervé Villachet, having finished a 14-hour day of shooting, dressed to the nines with a beautiful, tall woman on each arm. I often fantasize myself about why this occurred, but I never really sat and talked with Hervé. Now, his trailer, he had a sign put on his trailer called Doctor of Sexology. And at lunchtime, he would flip the sign around, and it would say, the doctor is in. And we never went there. But he always came out on time for his call, close to his call. So it was OK. But he was a very interesting guy, a sad guy in many ways, the way he wound up at the end. And he knew he wouldn't have a long life, and so I guess he crammed everything into a very short time.